Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Super Off-Road on the Sega Master System. Now, now, this is a game I had on three different systems back in the day, but it was called Ivan Iron Man Stewart's Super Off-Road. And that was on the Amstrad CPC-464, the Commodore 64, and the Commodore Amiga. Um, the Commodore 64 version and the Amiga version played very well. The Amstrad version was basically a spectrum pool with added colour. Right, so we'll have a take a look at the Master System version. Right, so... Right, you can only go left and right. You can't... Oh, yes, you can. So, like, my mistake. Right. So... Right, what do I go right, okay. So, it's fire to... Obviously, it's two buttons. So... So, the second button is for your nitro. You're only limited to your nitros, but you can pick up nitros. And basically, what this is is an off-road version of Super Sprint. It is basically it's that sort of so it's sort of game where you go around racing, and picking stuff up to upgrade your car, or your, in this case, your truck. Right, so when it goes that, when it makes that noise, I think that indicates you're in the last lap. Right, here we go, won the race. First place. So that's how much crap cash I got. So I can upgrade my vehicle. Um, so maybe better shocks, maybe some better tires, and that's it. I've spent all my money. So this is a game for only one or two players on the master system. Obviously, only being a two um, controller console. I think where the other own versions. Can support up to three um, players. Don't quote me on that. I haven't played it for such a long time, but I have reviewed it. So we've got the music here. So what do I think? It's not playing badly, actually. Looks quite nice. Yes, so that's another 30 grand I got. So you do get three credits or two credits as well. And I think it's a criteria that you have to win each race. If you don't win a race, then you lose a life. So I've got more cash here, so let's... Um, uh, acceleration. That's E. Oh, so I've got 40 left. Let's get some more. Oh, 60 now. Oh, I didn't see that. Right, let's go for tyres then. I was lucky there. Like, I don't know if I was lucky, but in the other versions, if you push the... If you overspend, you do lose a credit, but you get more money. Oh, fuck. Where are they going? I almost followed them down there. So I've got no um, nitros now, so oh, some cash, you can find cash laying about. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's on my last lap, I'm um, losing second place. Oh, that's yellow, yellow's there. I thought I lapped the yellow actually. Oh, no! So 
So that's another victory. Now, Ivan Iron Man Stewart was a racing driver. He used to race, um, as we see there, off-road pickup trucks. Right, how much have I got? 1,300, that's right. Right, 10 grand. I remember that, because back in the very early 90s, I had a radio control truck from Tamiya. Paint it up to look like Ivan Iron Man Stewart's off-road truck. So they've dropped. So when they come to the console versions, I don't know. It's definitely this version is just called Super Off-Road. I think I did a live stream on the Super Nintendo version. That was just called Super Off-Road. But the CPC, the home computer versions were definitely um, Iron Man Stewart's Super Off Road. Maybe because he wasn't well known or known at all in the UK and I lost. So they put his name on it. So who's that guy? But the only reason now I knew about him is because the radio control truck I bought back in the day. Um, and this game. <laughs> um, so I lost the credit, so I'm down to... Oh, I can't afford no... See? So that's a block in this one. You can't overspend on this version, which in some ways it's good. Because you don't want to overspend by accident. And in the, I think the computer versions you can overspend and lose a credit. But I'm liking the graphics, I'm liking how it plays. It's a pretty good version. Got the music here, now it's starting to get a lot more, a bit more difficult to play, which you totally would understand. I think this did come out um, after Super Sprint, but a diff completely different company, Leland or something, I've never heard of them before, I don't know if they made, well obviously they made, must have made other games, but it's not a well known manufacturer of um, arcade games. I think um, Super Sprint was made by Atari. Not played the arcade version of this. And I've lost another credit because I didn't come first. Right, so no credits left, so this is my last life. Can afford it. Right, okay. Let's start the race. Oh, fuck's sake. Listen to that music. <laughs> I actually, I do admit it did sound, the music did really sound good on the Commodore 64. I'm fucking losing, I'm out of, oh no. Yes, I am out of um, nitros. So if I don't get my socks pulled up soon, I'm gonna lose this race third place and that's not good enough gotta be first I'm not gonna do hang on am I no no I was in last place weren't I so now it's game over yeah which I expected because you got, as I say, you got to be up. I don't know if it's first or second or just first. I think it's just first. 
Um, so what do I think of the Master System version? Yeah, I like it. I think it's a good version. Got no problems with it. Um, yeah. Graphics are nice. Music's nice. You know, it plays quite nice. I don't mind. I quite, I quite like it. Enjoyed it. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.